There's nothing wrong with the 4-4-2. They, they, they just work. They always have worked. And, uh, yeah, I love them. I've, I've used them a lot. And it's a great test at the end of the day. Right then, so before we start, please make sure to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment if you can, guys. Everything helps the channel grow. And, um, yeah, so thank you very much. Welcome back, guys, then, to another episode of Tactics Testing with um, with the Venom and Faith tactic, obviously, from NAP. It's a 4-4-2. I was asked to do one by one of the uh, viewers of the channel, so here it is. Hopefully, you appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah 442s sometimes can be really underrated i think people don't realize how strong they are others obviously do because they use them uh, i've used them myself and i think i used a 442 in the last fm and it literally took me from league one all the way to the premier league back to back seasons and yeah so less of that more on the test all right so the teams taking part in this test guys is uh manu southampton psg fc mets luton sheffield wednesday and tranmere rovers right, so we've got some varied teams right there and uh hopefully it will do absolutely fantastic if you can download it there is a link just down there and it will take you over to fm scout where you can download it from there guys um if you can't download it do not worry all right we'll go through all the instructions for you right now advance forward left advance forward right Winger left, winger right, deep line playmaker, box to box midfielder, inverted wing back left, inverted wing back right, four plane defender left, four plane defender right, and the sweeper keeper, set piece instructions guys, defending right and left, and attacking left and right, and the uh, take it is aiming for the near post everyone, free kicks, defending right, left, attacking left, and right and then throw ins defending right and left and attacking left and right so back to the tactic it's an attacking mentality all right they're very popular at the minute attacking mentalities uh, fairly wide on the attacking width approach players passing space overlapping on the left and right and play out defense slightly shorter on the passing directness with a higher tempo low crosses in the final third will work ball into box and run at the defense in transition counter press and counter with the goalkeeper's instructions to distribute to the fullbacks by throwing it long out of possession, you are using the offside trap with a much higher line of engagement and standard defensive line. Force opposition outside with the um, defensive width. Use tighter marking and much more often on the trigger press. Prevent short goalkeeper distribution and the get stuck in instruction is on, guys. And remember, yes, your players are going to get tired. It's a pressing system once more. You are attacking, all right? Rotation and resting and knowing when to just, just bring it back. Just call it Dan is normally the way to go. And that is, if you're winning 2-0, guys, no point going attacking. All right, drop down to a positive, drop down to a balanced, stop pressing as much if you don't need it. All right, if you are absolutely smashing someone 5-0, take the press off. Let them come to you and just chill out for the rest of the game. All right, but uh, obviously revert back if you need to. Um, but yeah, save your players' legs, guys. All right, rotation and the fitness and stamina is a big plus. All right, so hopefully it does well, and hopefully uh, all the teams perform. So I'll see you at the end of the season, guys. Welcome back, everyone. So here we are then, end of the season, getting started in the Premier League. Manchester United came first, and Southampton, surprisingly, Southampton are a mid-ish to low-ish table team. Sometimes they can really struggle. Fourth place, guys. Southampton's just qualified for the Champions League. So one of them, yeah, got to be got to be um the both teams done very well at the end of the day all right so top player stats top threes ronaldo with 34 league goals average ratings fernandez and ronaldo there second and third assist you got ward prowse who else all right the only guy on the game that's got like 20 corner taken and 20 free kicks he is absolutely insane um, fernandez there second with 18 assists and that is it no player of the matches and no clean sheet so first manchester united's competitions did the winnow yeah that's not bad not bad all right they uh, got the treble the champions cup or the champions league and uh, the carabao cup as well and they beat liverpool in the final 3-2 right there in the final of the carabao cup it was against southampton so we know southampton got to the final it's a shame they didn't win it but at the same time it's nice that man you got the treble nice one 
All right, good right there squad uh best player was ronaldo obviously 7.73 50 goals for him eight assists biggest goal scorers after ronaldo greenwood 34 varan varan and maguire all right center backs guys center backs 18 goals 17 goals <laughs> Then you got Pogba and Rashford there with 13 apiece. Biggest creators in the team, Teles, Fernandez, McTominay, um, Sancho, Lingard, all right, Shaw, Greenwood. A lot of players chipping in with a lot of assists and a lot of people scoring goals and centre-backs, madness. All right, <laughs> Imagine being a centre-back. Imagine being Maguire and just being like, yeah, scored like 17 goals this season. Just Big slab on his head. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Um, yeah, they played really well then. Analyst report, full numbers is 190 goals. This is why I like the two striker formations. It just allows for just so many goals. And I know that you're kind of lacking a player from the uh, midfield if you do that. And by having another player in the midfield, you might be a little bit more better defensively. Because she did concede 63 goals, quite a lot. I pref do you prefer to score goals, guys? Or do you prefer to concede less? What's what's your verdict? Do you prefer half and half? Don't mind scoring a bit, don't mind conceding a bit? Or is it full on, 3 million goals, 2 million goals let in kind of situation? Let me know in the comments. All right, so, yeah, not bad for uh, Manu. All right, Data Hub. If we have a look here, general performance, 3.21 goals a game. That's loads. Uh, but when you when you look at the conceding side of it, you're only conceding just over one goal a game, which sometimes, obviously, it doesn't sound good, but that's on average over the course of so many games. All right? You're not going to concede one goal every game. So we know that. Uh, a lot of shots as well there. Team attacking. It's just, it's just I don't think it can actually go any further out on this chart. It won't allow it to. It wants to go further out, but it won't allow it to. All right, so yeah, it's very attacking tactics done extremely well right there. So uh, nice one. All right, so Southampton, they were the middle-ish team, under-ish dog kind of team. Um, Champions League football, not bad, not bad. Uh, so let's have a look at their competitions then. Obviously, runners-up of the Carabao Cup, quarter-finals in the FA Cup as well. Lost out to Leicester, unfortunately. If we go to the squad then. So, biggest performers, Ward Praz, 27 assists, obviously. Biggest goal scorers, Armstrong there, nice, 21. Doing very, very well. It was, a, it was an awesome striker on FM21. Obviously, with his pace, he always did really well in tactics testing. Now he's obviously in the uh, Premier League now, doing well. So, not bad. Not bad, Armstrong. Uh, and then Shea Adams there with 12 goals. Biggest assists is just more prowess. I think they just, every time they just got into a situation, they're like, Yo, you, you deal with that, mate. You just, just swing it and just pop it on his head. <laughs> All right. And he did. He did at the end of the day, didn't he? So, uh, yeah. Pretty good. Uh, full numbers for Southampton. 94 goals, 82. 82 conceded. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. But if we go into the actual league stats, team overview, most goals, Man U, 122 league goals. Southampton came fourth with 69. If we go to the fewest conceded, Man U there, uh, fourth place with 39. And whereabouts did Southampton come? So it looked like they conceded a lot. But they weren't the worst team in the league. Right, 14th. So they did do well conceding that many and then coming fourth. But it just proves how attacking the ta a, a tactic is um, by just outscoring your opponents, basically. That's that's the whole philosophy. Uh, you score five, we'll get six kind of situation. So, yeah. Back to those stats, though. Most goals you can see there. Uh, most possession... Normally the case, the teams aren't normally in them on tactics test, which is a shame because you're playing so attacking, uh, so pressing, so fast on the passing and all that. You don't really get in, in, into that that often. Uh, most dribbles made though, Manu coming second right there. Clean sheets, Manu coming fourth with 14. So, nice one. Cool, cool. Uh, PSG FC Mets, again, top elite team and an underdog team. And, all right, we're expecting a PSG all the time. I just... 
you, you should know by now, guys. You've watched me enough. We put PSG in there so we can see some big numbers, so we can see what the best possible results can be with this tactic with the top top team in a four artish league. Um, but PSG came first, and then FC Mets underdogs come in sixth. All right, they did qualify for Europe as well, which is a uh, how because they're not in a green bit. We'll show you that in a second. Uh, top player stats then. Leo Messi got 46 league goals. He was one of the strikers along with Mbappe. But uh, Mbappe isn't in the top two. So he might have got injured, to be fair. Uh, average ratings, Neymar, Messi, Di Maria. Right, 7.95 for Neymar as well. Assist, Neymar and Di Maria, 17 and 14. They were the two wingers. All right. Uh, player of the matches, Neymar getting eight. Messi coming joint second with seven. So PSG's competitions then. They won the trophy as champions and that's it. Right, they didn't win the Champions League, obviously. Uh, and they only came first in the league. So they've got the double. Not the best results for PSG, but not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let's go straight to the squad then. Look how many players are playing well. So many. Best player, Neymar. 21 goals, 26 assists. Biggest goal scorer is Messi, 61. And then Mbappe with 35. And then biggest uh, assists, all right, Neymar, Hakimi. Uh, Di Maria and Mbappe were now 11, 13, 16, 23, and 26. And goals by uh, centre backs. Kimpembe got 11. All right. And then you've got Ramos all the way down here with just two this time. So, yeah, not bad, PSG. If we go to the full numbers 184 goals, 38 conceded. Data Hub is normally the case with PSG. It's just fantastic. Top. Best of the best is, yeah. Yeah. Goals per game, right at the top. All right. <laughs> Expected goals, a lot. You're conceding very little, uh, and you're getting a lot of shots off, guys. So, doing really, really well there. So, yeah. Nice one, PSG, as usual, basically. So, FC Mets, all right, coming sixth. Good one for them. Competitions, though. Yeah. They won the French Cup, guys. They won the French Cup. <laughs> Awesome. All right, obviously allowed them to uh, qualify for a European competition. So, yeah, bet they're well happy. Well happy. Got some silverware with the underdogs, guys. We love it. All right, let's uh, go to the squad then. So, the best player was Niani. All right, 25 goals, 8 assists. Biggest goal scorers after him was Di Preville, 21. And then uh, he's on loan, so we don't count him. Uh, biggest creators, no one actually got um, any double digits, but... Top guard was Nget, all right, with a nine right there. Full numbers for the underdogs is 84 goals, 64 conceded. Data hub then is just on a smaller scale, but we're still doing well in other areas, all right? So goals per game is doing pretty decent on the averages. Expected goals as well, good. Um, just under on the conceded per game, so we're just getting over 1.5. Uh, still getting quite a few shots on though. And uh, if we go to the, I was going to see the full numbers, wasn't I? Team performance overview. We've looked at that. We've looked at that. So many teams to check out. <laughs> uh, let's go to the league one then. The, the, the stats compared to the other teams. So most goals, PSG coming first, obviously, with 135. FC Mets fourth with 69. Um, most points, that's the league. Most possession. There we go. FC Mets actually got 50%. And PSG got eighth with 49. So they're actually there. Sometimes you don't get them in a nap tactics. The best pass completion... They're not in there. Most dribbles made, PSG first, FC Mets third. Uh, fewest conceded, PSG only conceded 24, and FC Mets isn't there, unfortunately. So, yeah, awesome. All right, lower leagues in England. Luton, promotion, come second, awesome. Sheffield Wednesday, just missed out on the playoffs, unfortunately. Got a couple of players in the top threes. And then Tramia coming first. And getting promoted, guys. So, yes, that is the tactic. It did fairly well. I'm happy with it. But I do like my 4-4-2s. You're going to love it if you download this tactic. I did. And, um, yeah, hopefully it does absolutely awesome for you. All right, it works. Hopefully it does work for you. And uh, remember, guys, all right, tactics test can be a little bit of a little bit random. Sometimes it might not always work for you. So, uh, hopefully it does. But just remember, it's not... It's not a certain guarantee that i will but um yeah good luck in your saves everyone enjoy fm22 
and uh, hopefully you'll come by and see me again all right so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to comment and i'm tucker jobs see you later bye